Hello everyone, you are watching my YouTube channel Chemistry by Sadanwar. My name is Sadanwar and today we are going to discuss another past paper question. This is IGCSC Chemistry. The statement of the question is in front of you. What I do, I will try to make it easy and will prove which option is correct and why correct. Like the answer is C. But it is not important to just now the answer is C. Let's see how can I calculate this 12.4 gram of copper carbonate is heated in a test tube only 50 percent is decomposed what will be the final mass of the substances in the test tube so this is copper carbonate cuco3 so guys when i decompose copper carbonate by heating it will convert into copper it will convert into copper oxide and carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is a gas, so it will not stay there. Copper oxide is a solid. Copper carbonate is a solid. And 12.4 gram of copper carbonate is given to me. So I'm going to convert this into moles. So, so the moles of copper carbonate will be 12.4 divided by 124 because 124 is the molar mass, the formula mass of copper carbonate. So what I divide by using this machine, 12.4 divided by 124, this will be equal to, equal to 0 0.1 moles. So moles of copper carbonate is 0 0.1. Now guys, you can see a ratio, copper carbonate and copper oxide. So copper carbonate versus copper oxide. Copper carbonate, according to balanced chemical equation, copper carbonate is one mole. So I can say copper oxide will be one mole. But guys, copper carbonate given to us is 0.1 mole. This is 0.1 mole. So obviously, copper, car copper oxide should be 0.1 moles. But in the question, they are saying only 15% is decomposed. 15% is decomposed. 50% means half. Half means we need to divide by, by 2. So I have 0 0.1 moles of copper carbonate. So I divide this by 1. So I will divide this by 2. So when I divide this by 2, this will be 0 0.05. So when copper carbonate, which is decomposed, is 0.05, then obviously copper oxide, which will produce, will be 0.05. So this is the moles of copper oxide. Now I can convert this into mass of copper oxide. So mass of copper oxide is moles times molar mass, moles times molar mass. So moles is 0 0.05, molar mass of copper oxide given in the question is 80. So this is 80. So when I multiply this with 80, I will be getting a 4 gram. But no option is 4 here because this is yet incomplete. I have 0 0.05 copper carbonate. I need to convert this into mass as well. So 0 0.05, now the, the formula mass of copper carbonate is 1 to 4. So I multiply this 1 to 4. So when I multiply 0 0.05 with 1 to 4, it will be 6.2 gram. Now, guys, the last thing, just focus here. Mass of copper carbonate is 6.2 gram. Mass of copper oxide is 4 gram. So when you add 6.2 plus 4, you will be getting 10.2 gram. So this is option C is the answer. This is how I solve this question. This question can help you in the, if of the preparation of coming exam, which is going on in mid of November, I guess. Thank you so much for watching. I request do share that video with your classmates and friends. Have a nice day. Enjoy.